it's time for Orchard CMS. User access control is critical to deliver content to your subscribed users. Today, we'll be setting up users access control and permissions for our blog content. Welcome back. Well, today let's get started on user access management. But first, let's talk about on February 14th, 2020, Pete Keating, a senior developer from Etch Play Team, submitted a post. On the day we celebrate love, Pete Keating from the Etch Play Team wants to talk about and share some appreciation for the open source community. Today is Valentine's Day which depends on your outlook, either means today is about rampant consumerism or love or both. For this week's blog, we here at Etch Play wanted to show some of our love of our own, the love we have for open source. They've released some components, and one of the components that I want to take a look at is the content permissions. The content permissions, which allows the restriction of viable content on a site based on a visitor's Orchard Core role. Let's go ahead and go to their site and let's go ahead and download their source code and put it into our Visual Studio solution. Okay, so I downloaded their content permissions module, which was a project in Visual Studio, and then I'm utilizing the Orchard Core application. And then also we're gonna utilize clean blog theme. So I stuck all of those three different projects together into one solution here. So let's go ahead and fire up Visual Studio. Okay, so now you can see that here's the solution here, and here's the solution items. We have our git ignore, our license, our nuget.config file, which is pointing to the Orchard core preview feed. We have a readme file that talks about how to run it. And then here is the Orchard Core content permissions. And this is the module that was given us to us for Valentine's Day. And then here's the, the main application, which is the Orchard Core CMS. And here's our main program here. And then here's our startup. So just a basic Orchard Core web application. And then of course, here's our clean blog. And our clean blog also has a startup and has a theme for us, that which represents the, the clean blog from Start Bootstrap. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead up here and click on the little green play triangle. Okay, so let's Orchard Skills here. Select our clean blog and set the time. We'll go ahead and use SQLite and let's see, for email, I want to do sales at orchardskills.com. Let's go ahead and click on the finish setup. Okay, so there's our application. So you notice that we have a login. So let's go ahead and go into our login. And let's go ahead and log in. Now let's go ahead and set admin and go to our dashboard. Let's head on over to security and to settings and email. And let's go ahead and click on allow the users to change their emails. We'll go ahead and select that and hit save. Let's go to login. And let's go ahead and select use site theme for login page and then scroll down and hit save now for the registration click on that and let's go ahead and select um, allow registration and also we want to select users must verify their email address and also use site theme for registration page all right let's go ahead down here and hit the save button okay let's go ahead and hit password and then here we'll say allow the users to reset their user's password and then also use site theme for password reset page. And then hit save. Okay, great. So now let's go ahead and set up our SMTP. So let's click on SMTP and let's go ahead and set the sender email address to sales at orchardskills.com. Delivery method network. Let's go ahead and set host name to my provider here, and then let's change this port number to 587. And for encryption method to use, let's select start TLS. And then also we wanna require credentials, and let's go ahead and save our credentials. Okay, let's go ahead and do a quick test here. And we'll just send it to ourselves, um, and we'll just say do a test SMTP and hit the send. Okay, it says message sent successfully. So let's go ahead and find out. Let's go here. And there it is. 
Oh, great. So let's go ahead back here. So now let's go ahead and test out our user management. So let's go and let's go ahead and log out first and let's go ahead and register. So let's hit the register button and let's do sales and do sales at orchardskills.com and password and also confirm password. Okay. And then let's go ahead and hit register. Okay. So now we should get an email and there we go. We got our confirm our, your account. So let's go and click on that and let's go ahead and click here to confirm your account. And there we go. Email confirmation is all set up. Now let's go ahead and set up our content permissions. So let's go ahead and log in as admin and let's go into the dashboard and let's go ahead and go into content definition and go into content type and let's go to our blog, go to content types and let's go to our blog and edit that. All right, let's go add a part and let's add a content permission. Provides ability to control which roles can view content item and select save. Okay, edit our permissions here. And then here's the URL redirect so we can specify our URL. So if we want, go ahead and do that. Let's select register. So if they try to go to a content that they're not authorized, it'll head over to the register page. And let's hit save that. Okay, so now let's go to content items. And let's go ahead to blog. And let's go to the, now there's a security tab here. And let's click on that. And let's go ahead and enable this content. And let's select all the different type of roles. And let's hit publish. So now let's go back to, so now let's go to our blog and see how it, we can't get to our blog. It, it asks us for us to register. Log in. And now let's go to our blog and see, we can see our content. Okay, great. Okay, let's recap. So what we did is we created an Orchard Core CMS application. We utilized the content permissions module and we also utilized the clean blog theme. So we went in and configured our users, configured set password, set email, and enabled registration. And then we also went into the blog settings and added a part the content permissions part and set up the redirect URL. And then we went back to the blog part, went to the content permissions tab, enabled that, and then set up the roles for the access to that permissions. Okay, great. Now, if you missed or didn't understand something, that's okay. There's a detailed blog post that describes all the steps. There is also a GitHub repository with the complete source code. All this information is in the video description. If you like this video, please click on the thumbs up icon. Also, please subscribe and click on the bell icon to get a notification when I release the next video. Thank you for watching.